Hey everyone, Brian with Workshop Addict and today we're going to take a look at Ryobi's 7000 watt generator with the Honda GX390 engine. This is model number RY907000. This is an electric start unit that has 8750 starting watts in 7000 continuous watts. Now to test this out, we figured this is going to be used to power someone's home, someone's shop, in an emergency or to be used on a job site. So we hooked it up to our shop through the 240 volt 30 amp plug, uh, got her feeding the whole shop, turned on all our lights in the shop, and this, our shop uses 3200 watts of energy just to run all the lights. So from there we started testing voltage by turning on different saws in the shop that we had, different items, uh, even running our lift to see what would happen with some of the voltage figures. And this thing performed very well with very little voltage drop. And I give a lot of that credit to the automatic voltage regulator that's in it, but also to the Honda engine that can keep those RPMs very, very steady. Uh, the engine is nice and quiet, uh, works well, and it's easy to start. Now the Honda GX series is more of the commercial line compared to the GC series, and this GX uh, model is the one that everybody tries to copy. So the engine on this model is really what sets this apart from others. So let's take a closer look at some of the features this unit has. Since this unit uses Honda Power, you don't have the Ryobi easy start system on this where you just push a lever, it turns on the fuel, chokes the system and allows the unit to run. You have a fuel shutoff valve that's located down low and in front. And I really like that feature because you can turn the fuel off and drain the fuel out of the carb with this unit running to allow you not to store the unit with fuel in it. That's important to me. The choke is located just above the air filter. And to start the unit, you can either use the recoil start that's down here or this push button electric start. Just above the electric start is a readout that gives you the frequency, the voltage, uh, your time that the total unit has run, and then a separate timer that it tells you how long the unit has run for each separate start. So it's nice information to know. You have two plugs here, um, or two outlets with four plugs. They are 20 amp, 120 volt, and you have one 240, 30 amp plug off to the side. Very nice setup in front, easy to use. Everything is right here, easy to start, and the instructions to start it are sitting right on the top. Nice little setup. On the side of the unit, you have the battery that allows you to have the electric start. Just forward of that is the actual starter, and below it is the dipstick to check your oil level and add oil. Now this engine has a low oil shutoff, so if you do run low on oil, it will shut itself down, or if it is low on oil, it will not allow the unit to start. So it's important to check your fluids before running the unit. You also have a foldable handle here that makes this more of a uh, truck cart style, so you can move this around pretty easy. Uh, it is a little bit heavy if you're going to throw it in the back of a pickup, it's a two-man job. But other than that, this is a very portable, high-powered generator. In my opinion, this is an excellent generator. But what really gives it that step up or advantage compared to some other ones on the market is the Honda GX series engines. Those engines are used in commercial applications and are known for their torque, their longevity, they're easy to start, and they're quiet. Uh, it really sets this generator apart and gives it a solid foundation that you know it's going to be very reliable. I really like the fact that you can turn off the fuel, run off the carburetor, because these days ethanol can really kill these generators if you don't start them and keep them running all the time. The electric start is also a nice feature. Just remember to keep that battery charged so when you do want to start it, it's there and ready to go. Other than that, check these units out on Home Depot online. Some of the stores might have them inside the stores. Thank you for your time and if you want to read more about this generator, stop by workshopaddict.com. We have a blog and a forum. Also check us out on social media. Give us a like, subscribe to our channel. We'll keep you up with different projects and tool news. Thanks for your time guys. Have a great day.